Hey, hustlers, y'all ready to cook today? Whew, let's get ready to cook. We're gonna be doing some um, beef. Y'all gonna sit in a minute. We're gonna do some beef neck bones in the oven, and then we're gonna put the potatoes in. I think I did this with y'all with some pork bones. Yeah, I did. But that's okay. We can do it two times. Let's get ready to do this, y'all. Let me position this camera. Let's cook. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. Already washed and cleaned. Now we're going to use salt, lorries, onion, and uh, garlic powder, black pepper. We're going to do some smoked paprika, some adobo. Definitely, we're going to add in some of the Greek seasoning, y'all, with this one. And a little basil. I tell y'all, the smell of basil is so lemony. It smells really good. I already have the stove oven that is on 375. Once these are seasoned, I'm not going to put anything on them. I'm going to let them bake for one and a half to two hours. They are going to make their own juices. And then when we come back from that, we are then going to add in all those good old chopped vegetables that we always put in. Let me show you what you got. What we got. And guess what, y'all? I got the pink board. <laughs> hey. This is what we're going to be putting in those neck bones when we bring them out and add the potatoes. Now, this little section over here, y'all know when I talk about my seasoned rice, this is what I do put in my seasoned rice as well. I'm going to show y'all how I do that as well. But first of all, let's put these down. Let's get these seasoned. Now, y'all know I'm heavy with the onion powder and the garlic powder, so we have a few of these uh, pork neck bones, I mean uh, beef neck bones. So I'm going to use this really good, I say, I want to say... And we will wish this around, y'all, and get all that seasoning and incorporate it. I'm going to say a, a tablespoon and a half of both onion powder and garlic powder, y'all. Yes, because we want these to be so good. I'm going to add in a tablespoon and a half of black pepper as well. Well, no, well, just a tablespoon of black pepper, y'all. With the basil, we're going to do maybe uh, a, one tablespoon with the Greek seasoning, let's go about a tablespoon of Greek seasoning as well, y'all. With the smoked tap paprika, we're going to do a tablespoon of that as well. I think I will come back and hit this if it's not red enough for me. With the Goya, be careful with the all-purpose Goya seasoning because it can be a little salty. So I'm going to say a half. A tablespoon of this and with the lorries we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of lorries because lorries is smoky flavor but it can be a little salty and then we are coming in with just maybe a half a tablespoon of salt we don't want no bland food so y'all we're gonna dig in like the old folk do but no we got water and soap we can always wash our hands Okay, that's it, that's all. I'm doing it the old school way. Because when you rub it in, it's like rubbing your man with them hands in a good way. So when they incorporate with all that good, good, it is good, good. Let's get in there and dig in, y'all. Massage them fingers in there, honey. Let's do it. Because there's a whole lot of seasoning at the bottom of this pan too, y'all. Mm-hmm. Get in there and massage that meat, baby. Mm, mm, mm. And this smells so good. Now, how many times have I said when you season your food and when it smells like it's cooking with all that good seasoning, you're doing something good. Y'all, that smells really good, too. I'm getting all that seasoning from the bottom as well. And then we're going to get these situated in this pan in a neat and fashioned way. And then I'm going to top it off with some, you know, you see how incorporated it gets? That's pretty. So we'll get these in in a, in a neat fashion so that they can cook evenly. Mm. Some of them are big and some of them are small, y'all. But we're going to get them in here just like that. How about that? Mm -mm -mm. 
now let me wash my hands y'all we're gonna cover these with foil paper and cook them just as they are okay i'll be back Take that fall paper and cover it really good and tight, y'all. In the oven it go, 375, one and a half to two hours. And we'll check them when we come back. See ya. All right, y'all, let's get this seasoned rice going. In this pot, I have two cups of water. Now, you know, whatever two cups of water, you have one cup of rice, and that's all we're going to use. We do have that set aside over here. Now, I'm going to cut this on medium high, and in here, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chopped veggies, y'all. And my chopped veggies are bell pepper, garlic, celery, and onion. It's all going in there. And they are finely chopped. So get that in there because they're going to be cooking when that water gets hot and boiling. When that rice gets ready to go in, these will have already started cooking. So we'll get those right in there. We're going to go ahead and get in uh, at least a tablespoon and a half of butter. And in this pot, except for the rice, we're going to go ahead and add in a half a teaspoon of basil. We're going to add in a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. That garlic powder sure does something with that rice, y'all. And the same for the onion powder, a half a tablespoon, y'all. We're going to add in a half a tablespoon of black pepper. We're not going to use smoked paprika, and we're going to do a half a teaspoon of seasoning oil, just a little of that. You don't want too much of that, and that's it. But when it comes to a boil, we are going to then add in the salt, because you do want your rice salted. So we're going to give that a, uh, we're going to let that come to a boil, y'all, and I'll be back. All right, y'all. Y'all see that water is boiling? Let's turn that heat down a little bit and get this salt. I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a, a half, oh, a, a, a teaspoon of salt, y'all. I'm going to too salty now. We got all that other stuff in there. Just that salt right there. We're going to take this rice, and it is Adolphus rice. That's the only rice I use unless I feel a need for some jasmine rice. I do keep jasmine rice in my pantry as well. But jasmine rice I kind of want with my... Um, Sausage, rice, and cucumber because jasmine just go with that. Let's get this rice in there, y'all. We're going to give that a stir. Look at it. It looks so good already, don't it? Look at that. All them good seasonings, y'all. So you know the 20 minutes after this cooked down, all them fresh herbs and celery and all that stuff is going to be cooked just perfectly. And that rice is so good. Oh, y'all, I am forgetting one key ingredient. We need some uh, 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 chi uh, uh, chicken bouillon, y'all. So bear with me. What am I doing? I'm going to use a tablespoon of this as well. Let's give that a stir. When this comes back to boil, we're going to cut it on medium low and let that cook for exactly 20 minutes. We're going to pull it from the fire and let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we can come back and fluff it up. 
So let's bring that to a ball. And then we own, we own and cooking, we own and cooking. Hey, 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 it's coming up now, y'all. We gonna be cutting it down. Yay, yay, yay. Now, I'm still torn with what vegetable I'm going to cook with this. I own, the only vegetables I have in the pantry is green beans and corn. Didn't we have corn not too long ago? I, I don't know. I know we had those snap beans with those uh, purple hurl peas. Maybe we'll do some buttered corn. No, we did have corn. Well, shoot, we'll just have corn again. Who cares? But I'm not going to cook the corn with y'all this time. Yes, because I added in some bell pepper and onion in that corn. Well, we're going to have some plain and simple buttered corn, salt and pepper. That's what we're going to do. All right, y'all. So this is coming now to a boil. Y'all, them beef neck bones uh, smell good already. We're going to bring this up to medium low. We're going to cover it up. We're going to set this timer for 20 minutes. And we'll be back. All right, y'all. We back, honey. The timer has went out for the rice. Let me show y'all what it's supposed to look like. I'm not going to fluff it now. This is just me after it has cooked. I'm going to let it sit. But y'all ready to see what it's supposed to look like with all that good, good in there? That top is hot too, y'all. So, look at that. Let me bring y'all closer up on that pot. Look at that, honey. So, y'all, I'm going to take this actually off the fire. And we're going to let that sit and we'll fluff it. And I'll be back when it's all said and done. You ready? I'm ready. Bye, y'all. Okay, this, this has been two hours. Let's see what it's looking like and we're going to add our potatoes. Oh, look at that, y'all. Oh, look at that goodness, honey. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to add these potatoes. I already seasoned them with the same seasonings that I seasoned this meat with. So, we're going to get them in there. I did use the small white potatoes, and I cut them in pieces because we got this right so we don't want all these whole potatoes y'all let's just stick that somewhere mm -hmm. that be good when it's finally done honey it's gonna be delicious so in this bowl y'all i'm gonna do something i never done before but I got some brown gravy mix right here. So let's do this. I know it, it have directions, y'all, but we're gonna do it another way. But we're gonna see what it do. We're gonna do what we're gonna do what do. Now I'm gonna put that in that same seasoning, y'all. And we're gonna add some warm water. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I made that hot water with that brown gravy mix. And what we're going to do, we're going to kindly pour it all over here. And we're going to bake this for another 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, y'all, that's going to be some good. Oh, yeah. There you have it. Cover it back with your foil paper. And put it right back in the oven. Y'all, y'all like my little things that my D gave me? Uh-huh. It says best cook in the hood. Let's get these back in the oven for 45 minutes. Yeah. Thank you. 
See you at the finishing product.